kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. Yep. Well, I think you're really gonna like this show. We got a letter from Caleb Whittier in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Bob? Yeah? How come you always get the letter? What? Why is it that you always read the letter? I mean, what if somebody wrote a letter to me? Well, I guess if you got a letter, you could read it. But this letter says... D Great! Well, kids, this week, we got a letter from Elijah Castillo in San Antonio, Texas. And Eli writes, uh, can I call you Eli? Thanks. Eli writes, Dear Larry. Oh, wait a minute, Larry. I don't mean to be rude, but Caleb here has a problem. And I was all prepared to do a story to have... Well, little Eli has a question, too. And it's just as important as Caleb's. Fine, Larry. What is Elijah's question? And it better be a good one, because I have a story already. Oh, it is. You see, Eli says here that there's a bully in his school, and... A bully? Yeah, you know, a kid that's real mean to all the other kids. I know what a bully is, Larry. Then why'd you ask? Well, it's just that Caleb wrote about the same thing. Wow, that's one busy bully. Well, it's not the same bully. How do you know? Oh, well, I don't, but... Uh... But you seem so certain. Well, I am certain. How do you know? Well, Larry, it's just highly improbable, statistically speaking, that one bully is bothering two kids 500 miles apart. I mean, sometimes being certain of something just means highly probable. Highly probable! Bob, instead of talking about this, wouldn't it be a better idea to answer the question? You're right, Larry. I mean, being bullied is a big problem. You're right, Larry. I think we should show the kids what God says to do about bullies, don't you? Well, that's what I... Oh, man. Well, film. Wow, that sure was fun. Yeah, and exciting. I hope you liked it too, Caleb. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and Eli. You know, I think he prefers to be called Elijah. Well, how do you know? Highly probable. <sighs> well, we're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Why don't you like that song, Bob? I you see we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look. I do like it. It's just that... Not now, Bob. It's time to talk about the lesson. <sighs> Today we learned that there are bullies everywhere. And sometimes you can't do anything to change them. And no matter what, God doesn't want us to try to get even. That just makes us bullies, too. But God does want us to love them. And like Junior learned, it's a good idea to talk to your mom or dad. That's right. Well, let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 5:44. Wow, that doesn't sound easy. No, it isn't. But just like in the story, God has given us the power to do good to those who aren't good to us. Which just goes to show you, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Well, it's time to go now. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.